Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing a fish with a Bic round stick pen. This is one of the cheapest pens you can buy at a normal retail location in the United States. Typically going for, I want to say, about 10 cents a pop, but you can't buy them actually for 10 cents a pop. You have to buy a pack of like 10 for like a dollar or something like that kind of thing. They're really cheap and uh, you, you can tell the quality is definitely quite lackluster. Uh, the, the ink on this is not exactly in the, uh, not embossment, the recessment on this that this is clear it's um not very good quality i ain't gonna you can tell this is a really cheap pen but that doesn't really matter because it's so cheap it's so cheap you don't care about the bad quality of it kind of thing it's cheap quality who cares but it's a cheap pen less than 10 cents a pop as said it doesn't really write the best it doesn't really draw the best uh, but it doesn't really matter because you can add as many layers of the pen you want to make it look as good or as bad as you want. And honestly, I actually don't mind drawing with this pen at all, the Bic Round Stick. I really don't mind. I usually dislike cheap pens quite a bit. I hate pens that don't write very well. I hate pens that don't draw very well especially if they're low quality, but I do suppose even more so if they're expensive pens that write like hell, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But this is a not very nice pen that doesn't write well. It doesn't really draw very well, but it just works. And as such, you can just kind of make it work for whatever. Surprisingly, this pen is kind of good for shading. And if you just add enough layers to it, you can make anything look good with this pen in all honesty it really is surprising how good yet how bad this pen is for drawing and i am certainly very excited to draw a fish with this pen right here in today's video that is for sure i'm going to be drawing in my soho urban artist sketchbook in today's video and i do think without further ado let's go ahead and flip to a brand new page flip all the way i think uh yep that should be just about good I'm gonna go and just flip all the way over here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing on this piece of paper right here. First off though, I should probably get the cap all off and we can see there's really not much to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna do a little bit of a doodle right here. We can see, yeah, this pen, oh wow, I might have to grab this. Okay, I was about to say it didn't burn out, did it? I was about to say there's still tons of ink in it. There's still tons of ink in it. I just haven't used this pen in like over a month. Um, but we can see right there. I mean, like it's not terrible or anything like that kind of thing, but it's not the darkest. It's not the most distinct lines. It is uh, semi-inconsistent as well kind of thing, but it's not really a bad thing for the style of art I like to do with this pen right here. The style of art I like to do with this pen in specific is a sort of a just layering sort of doodle-like style. I tend to do just one sort of a sketch line, just like that kind of thing, starting off with the jaw of the fish. And I just tend to do the entire sketch line just like this kind of thing. I tend to do the entire sketch line just like this. Just go around, do the tail, like that kind of thing. Just one line. But, I mean, like, when you do it just like this kind of thing, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. The ink fades so much kind of thing. And if that's the look you want, then, I mean, like, hey, go for it kind of thing. It's not the look I want, though, and I don't think it looks good personally. But you just get the one line right here, but the lines aren't distinct. They aren't really anything that calls out to you or anything like that kind of thing. It's not an interesting drawing right now at all. Not an interesting drawing. But how you can make it interesting is just by going like this. Boom. All of a sudden, you've started adding shading. You've started adding depth to the color. And it started getting a lot darker, a lot more bold. And all of a sudden, your drawing is a lot more interesting. And this is why this pen is actually really interesting and honestly kind of fun to draw with even though it is technically a terrible pen. But it all depends on how you use it. It really does depend on how you use it. From an angle, this pen still works. Up top, this pen works even better. But it still writes at an angle, which honestly, I gotta give this pen credit. It does more than some pens that are more expensive can do. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, how easy is the ink to smear? I just drew that and uh, it's not smearing. Let's just go ahead and just build that on for a minute. And so, I mean, like it, we can see, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, I mean, like it's smeared a little bit kind of thing, but I mean, like not a lot kind of thing, not a lot. It makes sense. The line's coming off. This is a gel pen, I want to say. I don't, I can't remember if it's actually ballpoint or gel pen. I think this is a gel pen. I can't remember in all honesty. Um, 
either way. The ink does not smear very much, which is more than can be said about a lot of more expensive pens, once again. But you can definitely tell that the ink is meant to dry really fast. This is a pen that is meant to be cheap. This is a pen that you're meant to use at your local bank to sign on off, off a document. You don't want the pen, you don't want the ink to be drying slowly because the cashier or whoever you're signing the receipt of, or if you, this is, this is a pen that you're meant to sign the receipt of at a retail location, at a gas station, at a restaurant or something like that kind of thing. This is the pen that is there for you to use. And it has to dry quickly because the moment you finish your signature, it's getting shoved in some little booklet and put into storage for the rest of its life. It had the, the ink has to dry quickly. Uh, so of course it's going to, otherwise this pen would not be as iconic as it is because of the, like, the big round stick. Uh, I don't know how many of y'all are from the United States who are watching, but in the United States, uh, it's extremely common, at least in my area. Extremely, extremely common. Lots of restaurants use them. Uh, lots of retail locations, especially smaller, like more mom and pop shops. When you need to sign off on a receipt, what do they have? They have a big round stick. Why invest in anything nicer? Because the big round stick simply works. And that is exactly how it is for drawing as well. It just simply works. And it does really, in all honesty, give your drawing a very interesting uh, sort of look to it, which I am honestly a pretty big fan of. I really like the look of the big round stick. Uh, now, my preference is, of course, not to draw with this pen. I do prefer drawing with a, a more bold uh, pen in general. Oh, whoopsies, I just messed that up. That was completely my fault. I don't know what I was doing there. I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, well. But, distracting myself for a moment, but... This pen is still really good to draw with, even if it is not exactly to my preference kind of thing. And even if it is not my favorite pen to draw with, it is still something that I can definitely admire and something that I do definitely enjoy using every once in a while. And I mean, like, all of these things would be pen killing, in my opinion, if it was a more expensive pen. The whole thing about all of the criticisms I've had about the pen uh, so far would be pen killing if it was a more expensive pen. Uh, the, the low qualityness of it, uh, the, the ink being just so faded so quickly and everything like that kind of thing. It's literally, it's, it's so not deep, not dark. There's no richness to the color at all kind of thing. It's a cheap pen. And if a more expensive pen was like this, it would be simply unacceptable. But it's also kind of scary because there's a, while this pen doesn't do really dark, really rich ink very well, unless you layer over everything a couple times, like I did in today's video, um, this pen actually does a lot of stuff better than more expensive pens as well, such as drawing from an angle. Drawing from an angle like this kind of thing, very possible. Like, you can't draw like one of the completely sideways, but you can draw with it like this. And no no issue. A lot, of, a lot of pens I've used previously cannot do that. Of course, drawing just straight up, you can do that. Of course, every pen can do that. If you can't, there's an issue. I guess a fountain pen can't do that, can it? And also, the ink doesn't smear. If you don't like ink that smears got the pen for you right here you know what i'm saying i got the pen for you right here that is for sure i do want to add some other details to this fish though i'm not quite done with it yet i want to add some little deeper darker areas to the fish but then after that i'm going to be done with the drawing i think You know, I'm a really big fan of this uh, pen. It really does give, and in my opinion, I love a sketchy look. I love a sketchy look for my drawings. It's really nice. I love the whole like, sort of like pencil sketchy look and everything like that, but I like the permanence of a pen. Uh, my, my favorite uh, tool to draw with is not a pencil. Uh, it's, it's a pen. I really do like pens quite a bit. Uh, I like the permanence of pens kind of thing. I like the fact that you can't erase them. Um, a pen just seems more permanent to me than a pencil. Um, but I really like the sketchy look of pencils. I really, really, really do like the sketchy look of pencils. And this pen comes just about as close as you can get to replicating that look as well. A pen, in all honesty. I really, really, really do like this pen, Angelio. It's definitely not my favorite pen ever. It's definitely not a pen that I really enjoy using on any consistent basis. But it is a pen that definitely has its place. And for what it does, it does it honestly pretty well. But also not at the same time. It's kind of conflicting because this is a really cheap pen that I honestly don't mind using all that much. 
but it's also a pen that I don't really use all that often because honestly, I don't really have too much use for it. I enjoy doing drawings like this one right here every once in a while, but that's just it. I enjoy doing them every once in a while. And one of my nicer pens that has a better weight to it that I prefer using can do this better. So why would I use this? Well, simply put, because I have them. And why did I buy them? Because they're cheap. That's why I bought this pen right here. As far as cheap pens go, you really can't beat the Bic Round Stick, in my personal opinion. But you know, that's uh, pretty much all I had to say. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw a fish with a Bic Round Stick in today's video. I do like Bic Round Sticks a decent amount, but they're definitely not my favorite pen ever. But they're certainly not bad pens by any means. I uh, certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any constructive criticism for this uh, video or anything like that. Uh, I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PL box, and my main channel all in the description down below. And of course, uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. But you yeah, know, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Never a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.